MattTracker.com, and on this episode of Behind the Mask, I'm going to take a part of the internet's latest craze of making tier lists. Uh, I can do this for a couple of different things, mask oriented, but I'm going to start with just the overall toys themselves, and um, I'll kind of take it from there. Uh, you'll see the rankings here: S to Billboard Blast. Uh, S means usually like a diamond class, like above the rest, and Billboard Blast is Billboard Blast. Um, I'm not going to give anything an F, because I can't do that to anything in the mask line. But Billboard Blast has its own level. Um, I'm going to start there. Uh, all the other ones I'm going to pick at random, talk about them a little bit, and put them where I think they belong. Uh, and the good part about this is, is that I'll share the link with you in the description, and you can do your own. So, Billboard Blast, if you uh, don't know how I feel about it, uh, I reviewed it. And um, goes right there. That's where Billboard Blast goes. Uh, I know people. Some people do like it, but uh, if I didn't have to have everything in the collection, I would not have this. That's just me. Next, Dynamo. So on eBay, uh, there's a lot of sealed Dynamos out there. Uh, came out in the split seconds line, and I suspect that somebody came across cases of these sealed. Um, they usually sell from fifty to hundred dollars. I have one behind me here on the shelf where I have some of the boxes, but it's it's not great. It's the the transformation. It's kind of kind of clunky. Uh, the Brusado mask. It's one of the worst in this series. Um, the overall design of Bruce actually is not that great on this one. I'm going to throw this into the D category. So we're starting off great. Um, not Billboard Blast level, but it's just above it. Ooh, I need to lift my spirits up a little bit here. Hmm. Okay, let's go with Piranha. Now, Piranha came out of series one it was in probably every episode of the first season i don't remember an episode where sly wasn't really in it and if he wasn't it's very hard to remember any that weren't uh piranha is one of those ones that you would have probably had first when you were a kid because it was in the smaller class of the toy so it meant it cost less same thing with condor which i'll talk about later but Piranha is one of the ones that people talk about that they remember fondly. And Sly Rax, um, pretty cool bad guy. The transformation works well. Some of the parts on it are a little... Like the, the handlebars are easy to break. Um, if that wasn't the case on that, I would give it a higher mark. But I'm going to go with a B for Piranha. And let's go to... Let's see... Wildcat. Now, Wildcat. Wildcat has a distinct transformation to it. It 
it looks a little bit like firecracker when it's like the the base model of it but the the tow truck the aspect of it almost none of the ones you see on ebay anymore have the string that keeps the tow in line um the the discs are always missing and while it's it wasn't used that much in the line uh, in the cartoon uh it for me it if you find one intact it's one of the better ones i think you can actually use the display it just because of the, the the disc firing mechanism on it, it gets high marks for me uh so i'm going to throw that into the b no not quite an a but it's right there uh gator so gator series one dusty haze uh one of the more iconic toys in my opinion out of the 80s um it it's almost perfect to be honest uh i there are some downsides to it some of the like like with piranha some of the plastic is a little thin um but it doesn't break as easy as piranha so i'm going to throw this into the a yeah that works Let's see, where we gotta go next? Ah, uh, Vandal. If anything for me was going to classify as Billboard Blast, this is pretty damn close. Um, the, the figure, the figure is the only thing that saves it in my opinion, from being at the Billboard Blast level of just awful. Um, the, the, the vehicle itself, it doesn't work. I don't think it ever worked out of the box. It doesn't, it's one of the most complicated ones to transform and put back together. Uh, and it's so flimsily built. Flimsily. Flim that's a word. Sure. Um, it, for me, it, it's uh yeah it's going down in the D category let's see where are we gonna go next how about hmm let's go with meteor so ace Riker is a jet pilot it makes sense for him a jet right um i never understood the transformation on this one it was kind of weird it it's a jet that turns into another jet thing and then like a tank um the figure is really cool it it's just it's just an odd when it's in its when it's together and not in the transformation mode defense mode attack mode whatever you want to call it i like it one of the best but because you have to factor in everything um it it kind of brings it down after it transforms so i'm going to throw this into the c not the actual c but c let's see what are we going to go with next here detonator okay um the figure's awful. I don't know why I have it so close to me, too. It's right here. It's like... I should put that that way. <laughs> away from me. Um, it's a Volkswagen Beetle uh, that turns into, like, a flying thing and a motorcycle. Um, it's not one to write home about. If you have to have it in your collection, you're going to have it. Um, for me, because it's a beetle, it's not, it's not quite the Vandal Dynamo territory for me. I'll give it a C. It's better than, it's better than Meteor, but, well, it's not better than Meteor, I mean, but it's, it still kind of classifies in the same area. Let's see, what do we got next here? Let's go with Bulldog. So I reviewed this. I do enjoy Bulldog a lot. But the problem with mine is that when I transformed it, the damn thing broke. I can't get it uh, back into the starting point. Um, 
it it's one of the cooler transformations i'll say um and boris like the figure works really well i i felt like it kind of could have been it could have been a little huskier i think because he's a little bigger in the cartoon if i remember so the figure itself could have been maybe a little bit broader like in the shoulder area um but for me with all the elements of it as a firing mechanism it's not quite rhino but it's pretty damn close um and i can't I can't fault mine breaking to give it a lower score, right? Um, hmm. Because it's one of the harder ones to get, if you can get it, and it displays really well, I'm going to give Bulldog an A. That feels right. Yeah, go there. Next, I'm going to go to Volcano. Now, you get Matt Tracker with it. That's cool. Um, although, for me, if I was Matt, I would never not wear Spectrum. It literally has every power known to man. Um, you downgrade the Ultra Flash or Lava Shot or whatever else, uh, you get one power out of it. Um, I don't know. It's, it's something you never really thought about until now, right? Um, I mean, it 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 gets high marks because it's motorized. But I just reviewed this, and aside from it being in the show, um, the toy itself doesn't... For me, it's not... If I didn't have to have it in the collection, I probably wouldn't. But because it's motorized, it gets higher marks. Uh, it... It's really clunky. Um, if you're going to buy one now, you can get it cheap, but you're going to pay almost 20 bucks to get the damn thing shipped. Uh, it, it's just... It's just so big and clunky. Uh, it, But I can't... I, because of the motorization part of it, even though it has no crushing power whatsoever, I'll give it... Um, I'll give it a C... It could be a little bit above that, but keep it in that C category. Next, I'm going to go with Raven. Now, Raven for me... Kowloon Burns, I think, has one of the coolest character designs, mask and uniform-wise. The vehicle itself is sleek, dynamic. Uh, the transformation works really well on it. And it's one of the ones that I think are underappreciated in the line. So, I'm going to give Raven a B. Uh, it could go higher, and I can adjust this as I go along, but for right now, I'm going to keep it at a you know, B level and kind of see how it plays out. So, maybe once I get halfway through, maybe I'll, I'll stop for a second and maybe I'll try to reorganize things But um, if, I, if I feel like I need to. So the next one we're going to go to here is Stinger. Now, Stinger's transformation is very simple. It just kind of, you know, springs outward and turns into a kind of a tank. Uh, but the the problem with Stinger is, uh, there's two. One is that you'll never find one with a chain in the trunk. Uh, they're always missing. And two, Bruno doesn't actually fit into it correctly. I know the top's exposed and open, but... Bruno doesn't actually fit into the cockpit or the, you know, the actual part of it. He always, his head sticks out a little bit. That, that gives low marks for me. It's, all the other vehicles had such, like, meticulous design to them where everybody fit in it. Well, split seconds, not so much meticulous, but at least the figures fit into where they're supposed to go. Stinger got low marks on me for that. Um, and... It probably would have been higher for me if it didn't have those issues, but I'm going to give it a C for right now. And you can see a pattern kind of forming here. Uh, so far, things are kind of mid-level. And then there's Billboard Blast. Pit Stop Catapult. Uh, aside from the fact that it has sly racks in it, and the color scheme's cool, it's... 
it's a gas pump that turns into a weird tank thing. I don't even think Sly Rax can really kind of bring this up. Um, for me, this is one of those things that it's close to Billboard Blast, but not quite there. I want to throw it into the D category. Firecracker is my next one. Now, Firecracker itself, a lot of people like this one because of it being a truck. I like it, but it's not one of my favorites out of Series 1. I think I actually ranked lower in my Series 1 review. So, for me, the Honda figure is perfect. Uh, whether you got the short mask or the you know the longer one, the figure is perfect. I like the little details of the of the tire and the and the little hitch on the back that you could put the bike on. If it wasn't for the fact that the transformation was a little bit better I have it ranked higher so I'm gonna throw firecracker into the B category right now oh that's an A I think I said in the beginning I'm not illiterate but apparently I am um, so there we go <sighs> let's see and why not why not jump into hurricane after that now hurricane this is almost the same transformation right but the body design on Hurricane is hands down, I think, the best out of the entire line. If it had a better, if it had a better changing, like method to it, I would rank it higher than where I'm going to put it. Uh, but the, the 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 outfit on Hondo, it's not one of my favorites out of the line. So it it it's almost perfect, but because of the transformation and the outfit uh, it ranks it a little bit lower for me so hurricane is going to go into an A iguana uh, it, I have it listed twice here so I'm just going to pick one of them I'll use this one here because the box is a little better so Lester Sludge his character was not really um, memorable, we'll call it. The and this is one of the ones that, when it's in the regular mode, I think it's better than the trans, you know, the transform mode. Um, it's not quite, not quite, billboard blast level, but it's also not, it's also not in that D category. Uh, I'll give Iguana a C here. Uh, one of the things that stinks about these, this tier list site is that you can't like edit the pictures that you have in here. So I just noticed that I had two of them. I'm not going to edit it out because uh, it's not it's not easy to do. Um, so keep that in mind if you're putting a tier list together. Double check your list like I didn't do. Okay, so let's go to... Jackhammer. Series 1, Cliff Dagger. Um, the transformation on it is it's pretty cool. The, the one drawback of it is that in the cartoon itself too, I never understood how Cliff got from the driver's seat to the gun emplacement. Um, it you know, it's, it is what it is, uh, but in order to have it actually fire, and you have to turn the turret and have a driver behind it. So it's, the transformation never made much sense for me. I know a lot of people hold this one dear. And in the regular mode, it's really intimidating. I'll give, I'll give Jackhammer a B, just because Cliff Dagger is one of my favorite characters. So I'll give him a B. I'll throw him in there. Iguana. Just kidding. Wolf Beast. Um, so, I'm trying to think of a way to say something nice about this, but I, I don't really can't. I, I, I can't. I don't understand the design of the figure in the name of the vehicle. Um, 
Miles Mayhem's wearing like a bug outfit. But it's called Wolf Beast. Wouldn't it make more sense for it to be a wolf? Uh, I'm you know, just throwing that out there uh, for whenever Mask comes back and you want to redesign it. Maybe maybe redo that. Um, it's it's hard to come by, and it, the transformations terrible. Miles Mayhem can't save this. It's gonna get a D from me. It made me sad. Let's um let's do one that's gonna get a higher mark. How about Manta? So, Manta, Vanessa Warfield, she actually got released during the, you know, the time of the cartoon, unlike Gloria, which I'll talk about in a little bit, but it wasn't until the racing series that she came out. And I'm still waiting and hoping for an answer as to why that happened, but you can always speculate that these were geared toward boys and that was the case. But Manta has an ejector seat, um, and it just, it's such, it, like, both modes are so cool, um, it's hard to not place it in the A category for me. So Manta's going to get an A. Let's see, ah, the Collector. So the collector had two different boxes. It had the giveaway UPC box where you sent X amount of them in. I forget how many it was. Uh, and you got one for free. I think that's what it was. Um, and it also had a retail box. It's a toll booth that turns into a gun emplacement. Uh, Alex Sector, there wasn't really much work put into him. It's just a repaint. Same thing with Pit Stop. Uh, I mean, for me, because of the fact that you kind of got it for free when we were younger, I'll give the Collector a C mark. And then that might seem high. That's just kind of where it feels like it falls for me. Bullet. Um, Ali Bombay, maybe in two episodes. The, the vehicle, the, the mechanism that keeps the tires in place, because it just kind of opens up and becomes like a hovercraft type thing, um, they don't stay together, so you can't, it's hard to display it in the bike mode itself. The, the rope is always missing on it, and the figure design, while it's, it's not the worst, the, the purple helmet with the red, white, and blue doesn't really work for me. Uh, bullet for me is going to go down into the D category. And let's take a look here at Skybolt. Now, at the line of split seconds, there are... Yeah, there's two that I like out of the split seconds line. This is one of them. Um... But I wish, I wish Skybolt had a different paint job to it. It's, you get the Mad Tracker figure, it's it's a fine figure, it's not the best, but the the Skybolt itself is it's hard to find all the pieces to it. The the clasp to hold the wings on, they bend real easy and break. Uh, but if this had a better paint job, like imagine if Skybolt was painted as Hurricane, like that. If they weren't so damn expensive, though, I'd do one as a custom. Um, I would rank Skybolt higher to where I'm going to put it right now because the, the paint job kind of throws me off. And some people might really like it. I just think it would work better as like a as a different as a different way um, of, of displaying it. I'm going to give Skybolt a B because of what I just said. If it had Hurricane's paint, it'd be an A. It might even be an S, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so let's go from a split seconds line that I, or, you know, toy that I like to one that I do not like, and that is Jackal, or Barracuda, depending on where you're from. 
It has the worst figure design out of the entire line. Even Gloria from Stiletto is better, even though she's not cartoon accurate. This Bruno Shepard figure, um, it, it's just so god awful. Uh, the toy itself, like the the bike, it's okay. The transformation's a little, a little plain. But oh god, the figure! I almost want to put it here, but I can't. So it's going to go here. Hmm. So let's stop here for a second. See if I want to rework any of these here. Let's see. I think I'm on part so far. Let's keep going. Next we'll go with Buzzard. Now Buzzard, it's hard to find in intact. You'll never really see the the fin. It's hard to find uh, because of the kind of like Skybolt, the clasp that held it in place, they broke easily because you're always taking it in and out of the back of it as a hang glider. It, the transformation was fine. It you know, came with Miles and Maxi Mayhem. But it... You know, it just wasn't, like, spectacular. It wasn't, like, Manta level. It wasn't... It just didn't have that that appeal. And it's hard to it's hard to pinpoint why. Maybe because maybe because like it's came off of those two pods and like the pod works for Piranha, but it doesn't work for Buzzard for me. Uh, so for, for me, Buzzard, I'm gonna throw that into the C category here. And um, yeah, that works. So next, I'm gonna go with Slingshot. Now I reviewed Slingshot. I'm trying to fix it anyway, and. For those of you wondering how to fix it, it's the wings on the jet itself that don't hold in place. It doesn't hold up well over time. The, the at least the plastic holds up. It doesn't doesn't yellow. Um, and Ace Riker is one of my favorite figures, my favorite characters out of the out of the entire uh, line itself. Um, if it, I think if it held them together a little bit better over time, I would I mean, probably grade it higher. I can give I can give Slingshot a B. Yeah, a B works there. Let's see. So I'm gonna go to next Afterburner. Now Afterburner, Afterburner to me always felt like it should have fallen into the the racing series line. The transformation is really confusing on it. I don't understand too much like like I get how it works but it just doesn't like the from where it, from where it goes in the regular mode it's better than the defense mode or attack mode so the figure it's not the worst out of the split seconds line but uh, I can kind of give afterburner I can give it a D it's hard to find uh, so if you can find one intact you know make sure you do uh, there's a there's a missile on the front. It's usually what's usually missing from it, so keep that in mind. Let's see, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Um, go with Razorback next. Now, Razorback itself, it's a cool vehicle. It's got Brad Turner, but the 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 transformation of it, it's just like an odd. It's, it's just odd. I reviewed it. I don't really like the transformation. I like it better as it as a race car. Um, Brad Turner gives it higher marks, but for me, because of the fact that the windows are usually, like they're usually broken um, and the and the side panels are usually broken, it doesn't hold up well, and it's hard to find the front missile to it as well. I'm gonna give Razorback a C. It could be better. If it had a different transformation, I think. Um, let's see. Hmm. So let's go with Fire Force next. Now, Fire Force... I reviewed this. And this is one of the ones out of the line of split seconds that I like. It... It's underappreciated, I think. And... 
the the transformation of it makes a little bit more sense than it does in some of the other ones. The figure I like a lot. Uh, the mask the mask could be con you know considered a little weird because it's like a slanted hat on it, but it could be. And I think in my review, it's one of the it's one of the like the unsung heroes of the, of the line. If if it wasn't for Sky Vault and Fire Force, that line would have been. Uh, almost complete garbage. So for Fire Force, I can give that a, a solid B. The the bombs and the and the missiles they're they're hard to come by, and you're gonna pay a good price for Fire Force because it wasn't one that we really had a lot of when we were kids. So the production was probably lower, and it's just hard to find. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with Outlaw next. Outlaw. It's. The closest thing we had to Venom's base, the you know it turns into a giant playset with a cannon that you can use to shoot your brother in the face with. It comes with Nash Gory and Miles Mayhem, and despite the fact that it had the string on the grappling hook, you're, you're usually going to find the grappling hook intact. the The missiles themselves they were easy to find. You didn't really lost them. And the simple fact that it it was the closest thing we had to a base for Venom, it gets high marks for me. If it wasn't so damn big, I would probably give it a higher mark. Um, but I guess it would have to be in order to be a base, right? So I want to give that a B. It goes right there. So we're kind of getting down to the end here. And while... There's a couple here that you might be like, whoa, I wonder where they're going to fit, right? Well, this iguana doesn't fit anywhere. That's at the end, because I already put it in place. So the next one we're going to go with is Firefly. Now, Firefly, for me, kind of has the same feel as Manta. Both modes, I think, are really cool. The Julio Lopez design is one of my favorites out of the entire line. And I hope... I hold a special place in my heart for Firefly. Uh, years ago, I broke it, and my dad was able to fix it by just by putting a screw into the bottom mechanism where the wings turn out. So I was just so distraught, like the world was ending. My dad fixed it, so I I kind of hold that kind of hold that dear. Um, the bombs are hard to find, and the guns. On the end of the wings, you are usually a little bit brittle, but I want to look past that. I'm going to throw Firefly into the A category. That's me. You might be lower, but that's why you can do your own list. Boulder Hill. Now, this is something that it's hard to it's hard to judge because we only got one play set, and it doesn't hold up well over time um, because it was the only playset that we had we beat the hell out of it but if if Rhino fit through the door I'd give this a perfect score because it's the only playset and because it's so iconic it's probably one of the ones that you would if you're listing out like you know best playsets it would probably be up there. Um, I'm going to throw that in the DA category. Whew, man. Laser Command. Now, mine doesn't work. Uh, it's not... So it's one of the hardest ones to find, number one, intact. The figures are expensive. The, the vehicles by themselves are expensive. One of them's a box. <laughs> it's just... It's a crate. That turns into like a jet fighter. So Matt's is hanging out in a crate, suffocating. Hopefully they, you know, there's holes in it so he can breathe. And then all of a sudden he's going to shoot, you know, the vehicle that Miles Mayhem's driving. And it's kind of for red sensors. It's ambitious. But the fact that they're so hard to come by and the fact that the mechanism doesn't hold up, I have to give Laser Command a B. Right there. There we go. 
Goliath. One of my favorites. If... If Nevada wasn't so lame, his mass power, um, this would be perfect. But I have to take everything into account. And the fact that you have, you know, the basically a flatbed truck carrying the race car, it can take off. It like it has so many features to it. It's so like thought out and well designed. And the the character design on mask figure here with Matt, like the the mask itself and the sh you know the shroud, I like it a lot. Um, I'm going to give Goliath an A. Only because... The totem power is so stupid. Vampire. Um, so... I... I like... The overall design of this one. But... All the ones that I come across, the front mechanism doesn't hold up. So you always have it kind of down. And the the parts on it are a little brittle. If, if it wasn't for the fact that the front didn't stay up on this, I would probably put it in a B, but I'm going to throw it in the C category here. Whew. Switchblade. It's a helicopter. It turns into a jet. It's got Miles Mayhem in it. I mean, it's hard not to say that this is perfect. So I'm not going to say it's not perfect. I think it is. There's our first perfect score right there. Got it right there. Condor. Condor holds a special place in everybody's heart. As I mentioned with Piranha, it was one of the ones that you first got. The parts on it really hold up. They don't break e you know easily. It's got Brad Turner in it. Perfect. Right up there. Thunderhawk. Now why am I going with Thunderhawk before Stiletto? You'll see why. Thunderhawk for me, it doesn't get any better. Uh, if I had another class to put in here, I would. I can edit it right here if I want, but I'm not going to. Thunderhawk is perfect. It's got such an intricate design to it. And it's got my tracker. It's Spectrum Mask. You can't get any better. Yeah, the missiles are hard to find. Yeah, the, the you know, going doors don't always stay up. But you can argue with me all you want on that. That's where it's going. Now that the last one, Zaletto. Now, I hate this. I don't hate it as much as Boulevard Blast, but I hate this one so much for two reasons. One, it's almost impossible to find one that isn't yellow. It's got that, like, Super Nintendo plastic to it, where everything yellowed on it. And two, it gave us Claire Baker in the Split Seconds line without a cartoon-accurate costume. Basically, I was like, here, here's a piece of crap. Like, Gloria Baker doesn't deserve that. He didn't deserve it. So that's going to get a D. I'm sorry, Gloria. That's where you go. Um, but, yeah, there's my list. I'll take a look at it here. Comment on it. Um, looking at it here to make sure I don't want to move anything around. I'm happy with that. Let me know what you think. Share your list with me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we're all over the place. Until next time, this is Bill from MattTracker.com. <laughs> don't, don't buy Billboard Blast.